Hi guys. <laughs> so we, uh, I'm just going to debunk something for you right here, right now. This here is an annular cutter. You generally find them in uh, mag drills or milling machines. And the reason being is because they're precise. You know, they're a precise cutter. Now these, these annular cutters, you've got, although mag drills only come at one speed generally, you've got to get the right speed. And with them, you've got to keep a constant pressure. So with this, I'm gonna show you on my pillar drill, my uh, SIP F2820 floor mounted pillar drill, or drill press, um, I'm just gonna show you how you can use them. Now, I have got Bosch hole saws as well. Well, uh, you know, bi-metal hole saws. Um, this is the quick attach one from Bosch. Nothing wrong with it, works a charm, can't fault it. But these are just a different level. So let me, uh, <laughs> let's get started and show you what I'm working with. That's just the belt. So with it, you've got to make sure you've got a constant Uh, I know where it is. Bear with me, guys. Yeah. Uh, these bloody belts. These belts are new, so they're um, they're constantly stretching. There we go. Now, yes. Oh, let's turn this off. Yes, I did get a bit of chatter there. Now, that's to be expected because a pillar, a drill press working on uh, what am I calling it? Uh, belts. The drive isn't direct. If it was direct drive, then this would be a completely different machine. It would just fly through, um, but it's not. And unfortunately, the direct drives really aren't that great either. Well, not in the drill press sort of section. I looked, I wasn't impressed. So, let me just clear this off for you. Well, look, there's my slug. <laughs> and that will always get rejected because of that pin. That pin is on a spring and it will always reject it. I didn't find the other one. Hmm. Wonder where that one went. Anyway, there's my hole. You can see I've drilled another one there as well. But there's my hole. And it's absolutely clean and pretty precise. Uh, let's get a vernier. The holes I was drilling were 27 mil. I know this is me. This is me old school vernier. This one. I think that's measuring. Just a tad under. Measuring 26 points. Eight. 26.8. So, a little bit under the 27. But I'll take that. So, I'm just doing some test pieces. That's what these are. I'm impressed. Pillar drill's not done bad either. Could be better, yes. But... Um, if it were direct drive, it would be no problem at all. You know, that power would just divert straight down into the, um, into the manual cutter. But yeah, very impressed. There you go. Theory is debunked. 
you can use annular cutters on a um, pillar drill or a drill press. I've got a bigger one here, <laughs> 38 mil. That's going to be a test. Will it go through? Will it not? So, will it survive? I'm sure it will. So, um, thanks very much. We'll catch you on the next one. Maybe with another theory that we can debunk. Ciao for now.